Hi everyone, this is Ramesh from Java Guides. In this video, we are going to see how and when to use copy and write array list class in Java. So let's quickly have a look into the overview of copy and write array list class. Copy and write array list class in Java is a thread step implementation of list interface. And copy and write array list was added in Java 1.5 and it's part of collections framework. Copy and write array list is concurrent collection class and it's a thread step variant of array list in which all the mutative operations like add, set, remove and so on are implemented by making a fresh copy of the underlying array. Alright, and we are going to see how to use copy and write array list class to you know to provide a solution for concurrent modification exception. For example, we use a, a iterator to iterate over array list elements, right? And if you try to change something in array list while iterating, then iterator throws concurrent modification exception. And to avoid this exception, we can use a copy and write array list. Copy and write array list class is very useful in multi-threaded programs. When we want to iterate over a list in a thread step way without an explicit synchronization, then we can use array, you know, copy and write array list class. So the design of copy and write array list class uses an interesting technique to make it thread step without a need for synchronization. When we are using any of the modify methods such as add or remove, the whole content of the copy and write array list is copied into a new internal array. So in an example section, I am going to demonstrate how the copy and write array list is, you know, will copy a original content into a new internal copy. So I am in Eclipse and I am going to create a simple class here and I am going to name it as copy on write array list example. All right. And here let's create a main method quickly. And here what we will do, we first create a array list and then we'll see how to uh, change or how to replace array list with copy and write array list class a bit later. So let's create a list here. List equals new array list. Okay. And let's add few elements to the array list list dot add here i'm going to add one you can add any element simply i'm going to add here one two three like this one two list dot add here i'm going to add three all right it's pretty simple list and here what we'll do we use the iterator to iterate over a list so list has an iterator so just call the iterator method here and before that here we need to get we need to get a iterator and we need to store the iterator value to this iterator all right and let's use a while loop here and inside a while loop so iterator has has next method right so we are going to use has next to iterate over uh, iterator and here we are going to use list uh, we are going to uh, pick up the elements from the iterator so iterator has a next method so we are going to get a next element from the list using iterator dot next method here so what we will do here is we try to change the list okay so as i mentioned earlier if you try to change something in our list while iterating then iterator will throw concurrent modification exception all right so here what we will do we will add a condition here if string dot equals equals and here we just see one is present in a list or not and if it's present then just remove it from the list list dot remove call the remove api here and here we're going to just pass a object or uh, a string and here let's add a one more element to the list here so what i will do i will just again provide a check here if string equals equals three then what i will do i will add a element like four 
okay it's pretty simple just in order to reproduce uh, you know in order to reproduce concurrent modification exception here i'm just trying to uh, you know uh, call the remove and add api of list interface okay so here uh, we are trying to modify the array list while iterating and this we should throw the concurrent modification exception so let's go ahead and let's run this program and let us see the output so i'm going to run this program here so look at here the output concurrent modification exception okay so this happens because array list iterator is fail fast on design what it means that once the iterator is created if the array list is modified it throws concurrent modification exception okay so if you see here at the console log if you try to see here is the console log the iterator next method look at here iterator next method throws this exception if you look at the array list source code here i'm just uh, search for next method here yeah here is the iterator implementation and this is the next method so look at here check for modification okay so here you can see whenever you know uh, something changed in a array list and iterator will you know count the modification by using mod count variable and if there is something change then iterator will throw concurrent modification exception okay i hope you understood how the iterator iterator uh, you know ne iterator's next method for the concurrent modification so here uh, mod count variable is maintained to uh, to identify whether something is changed in our list or not okay so this way the concurrent modification exception will be you know thrown by the iterator now how to avoid such situations okay and so basically uh, so sometimes uh, we want to add or remove elements from the list if we find something specific element in that case we should use a concurrent class such as copy and write array list class okay so this is the thread safe variant of array list in which all the maturity operations are implemented by making a fresh copy of the underlying array so let me show you how to do that so i am going to change here uh, i am going to replace array list with copy and write okay and here i am just going to run the program again and uh, here i haven't provided any sys out so let me provide some system dot out and statement so that here i'm going to just print the string and and i'm going to rerun the program again here so look at here one two three okay system dot out dot println and here i'm going to just print the list to the console so here is the output so look at here uh, we haven't got any exception here because we are using copy and write array list class all right So notice that it allows the modification of list but it doesn't change the iterator and we get the same elements as it was original list so this is how we can use a copy and write array list class to avoid such kind of exceptions okay so whenever we use copy and write array list it will make a fresh copy of the list okay copy and write array list class is very useful in multi-threaded programs when we want to iterate over a list in a thread sub way without an explicit synchronization then we can use array, you know copy and write array list class so the design of copy and write array list class uses an interesting technique to make it thread safe without a need for synchronization when we are using any of the modify methods such as add or remove 
the whole content of the copy and write array list is copied into a new internal array. So I hope you understood about copy and write array list class. So let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section so that I will try to answer your queries. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.